think I'll start this video by saying that, uh, well, this video is for, I want to go average golfers. That's important because what I'm about to say, well, it's for the masses and uh, not the minority. Sit down, sit down. Now, I have been a single figure golfer for probably 20 years, but it's getting harder and harder to ignore these golf clubs. Now, it's fair to say that long irons are more difficult to hit than short irons, let's say. I think uh, we can all agree on that at least the shaft becomes longer, we get presented with less loft, and uh, well, we struggle sometimes to generate the club head speed, really to maximize the potential of these clubs when we're, well, let's say average. But like I said at the beginning of this video, that certainly applies to the masses, but certainly not to everyone. Now in recent months, I have come across so many different options in that longer end of the bag that I thought, well, I'm going to put together uh, some options at least. And really, oh, I thought that was in. Genuinely believe that this could be the end of the long iron as we know it. And those irons I'm referring to generally will cover a sort of maybe 21 to 26 degrees, let's say. So anything from sort of a, a three iron through to possibly, certainly through to a five, possibly even a six in some cases. It's in the bunker, is it? Get over. Oh, it bounced over. If that was in a medal round, that'd have gone right in the middle of it. So I'm gonna make a bold prediction, and that prediction is that in, uh, I'm gonna say possibly in the next two to three years, you will see the makeup of iron sets become different. And by different, I mean they will start to uh, more commonly exclude the likes of a five iron, a four iron. They're all starting to diminish already, but the combination sets that I'm talking about might be uh, a little bit different to what we're seeing right now. The next shot I'm faced with is uh, typical where we've sort of got 180 to the bunkers on the right. This is very much a layup shot, second shot for me in a par five. 180 to the bunkers, maybe a five iron, or maybe in fact a five hybrid, which uh, is one of those options that I have found to be much easier to use, much more um, confidence with, if you like, in recent months myself. A five hybrid would never have got anywhere near a bag of mine in the past, as I thought it had to be irons all the way up to four iron, but this is different altogether. ride online it's a good ball flight no great effort required it's position a and it was so so simple and in my opinion a lot simpler than with a five iron so five iron what about skipping up to a three iron if you were the type that carried uh, that'd be certainly the strongest lofted iron i would have ever considered putting in my bag and if you still want that iron type of look but with a bit of help and assistance there's this new DHY driving hybrid from Taylor May, which is so, so impressive. Looks nothing like um, a traditional three iron in terms of how slender that might be, but gives you a bit of bulk and mass. And yet again, I can't understand why anybody would choose to have a three iron over a three DHY in the bag. It just makes it so, so much simpler. Another option is uh, going into that fairway wood element. And uh, in recent weeks even, you'll have hopefully seen me do a video where I look at uh, DJ's new secret weapon in his bag. He carried a nine wood, would you believe? And uh, that again for me is a telltale sign is when people like DJ are putting seven and nine woods in the bag, then we'd be fools to uh, ignore them. I tested this nine wood, it does incredible things. It's 24 degrees in terms of its loft. The ball flight is incredible. And uh, in this case, with a couple of hundred yards to go, what do I want to be playing? So the 190 in, maybe a four iron, or maybe I just get this uh, nine wood out the bag. And once again, confidence is key. I just feel like I can't miss. It presents so much loft. I feel like I'm just going to get a great ball flight. And all I need to do is shut up and hit the thing. 
Oh my word. That is so good. That is so good. Kick. Kick. It's just... I, all these clubs, we've so far looked at a DHY, we've looked at a 5 hybrid, we've looked at a 9 wood, and I just keep thinking of the iron equivalent and which one would I rather play, and honestly, there is no comparison between the options. And when I talk about options, we're really looking at, well, hybrids, we're looking at fairway woods, maybe a combination of the two in recent weeks, which was uh, a high wood from Cleveland. And then you've got the likes of the Launcher Pro Irons, uh, I think they call themselves almost hybrid irons, which become, uh, again, so easy to use that uh, the options are literally endless. Now, obviously, we've always got to apply some kind of context, so make sure everybody understands. I'm not saying this is the end of long irons for every type of player out there. And uh, roll out. Oh, last roll. Um, what I'm saying is you've obviously got to consider where you play your golf. So if you play typically Lynx golf and windy conditions, then long irons will be very much uh, needed, I suppose, is the right uh, way to put it. And if you're a good player, then you can cope with long irons. Yes, you can. So please don't bombard me with comments about why you would use long irons if you're a better player out there. I'm talking about for the masses. And what I'm saying is they're difficult to use. We do find them hard to use, and I can't believe that the options I found in recent weeks, months, have just opened the something up to me that I never knew existed, to be honest with you. And then one other comment which is often made is, well, you know, do they make you, are you going to score better? And do they make you a better golfer? And well, arguably, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the point being, I get so much more enjoyment out of seeing these balls fly into the air than I do in struggling to hit a three or a four iron. And for many golfers, that's uh, a real enjoyable element is just to see, stop struggling with that long iron, stop trying to make it work. Get something like this in your hand, which is uh, gonna make seeing your ball flight just uh, a little bit easier on the eye. That's tight hand. I've got away with one there. Or have I? Yes. That's position A, but it was a bit of a fluke. In fact, that was that bad that I genuinely believe if I'd have played that same shot with a long iron, I'd have struggled to carry the water. It was that poor of a strike. And another reason why these golf clubs are uh, no brainers. They're ultra forgiving compared to their iron equivalent. And the interesting thing for me is that uh, the clubs that I've been most impressed with are the ones that have been, well, they've probably got the biggest stigma attached to them. The five hybrid has been phenomenal, and I'll only been testing this nine wood in recent weeks. Again, kind of covering 190 yards has never been so easy as with this in hand. And the stigma I refer to is this five hybrid nine wood. I refer to as perhaps a ladies' clubs uh, in the hands of gentlemen over the age of 70. Not to be offensive to anybody over the age of 70, but you understand what I mean. That's the kind of mentality that goes with these clubs, and it couldn't be further from the truth. And then you get people like DJ who put, like I said, this particular nine wood in the bag and uh, you start to realize that uh, maybe you've got this one wrong. Oh my word. Honestly, they blow me away. Now, one other thing we talk about a lot on the channel is the flexibility of your bag. And for me, depending on where you are distance wise out, I don't want to be playing a three iron, a four iron, or possibly a five iron out of the rough. I find that again, a hybrid is a far easier option. So for something like this, I gladly play the, well, I play the nine wood, you've got a seven wood option, and in this case, a five hybrid, but all of them sort of, uh, it's where for me, the bulk of the club head just suggests mentally that it's gonna get through this grass better than I would with an iron in hand. Now maybe that's just me. I've been hitting the ball well so far. This one's a bit tighter and we've got to cover the bunker. So, uh, come on. That's absolute, honestly. When I said cover the bunker, I was referring to the green, uh, the fairway bunker that you can see in the middle. We've gone into the green side bunker, which uh, I never scoped in terms of distance, but I certainly wasn't expecting to get there from there. Look, I've hit the ball really well in this video, so that's 
you know, a real positive anyway. This, uh, I, I don't normally hit these clubs as well as I've done, um, I don't think, because I literally don't think I've missed a shot in this video. They've gone straight, the ball fight's been fantastic. I'm not trying to say that these are, you know, amazing things. What I'm always trying to pose in the videos is just to suggest that, you know, irons are difficult. And as I said, I've got a feeling it could be the end of long irons for the masses. Sit down. Now I suggested in the video earlier that we would see the change in iron makeup sets. And what I meant by that is more combination sets, very much different than what we see right now. And my prediction is that we will start to see sort of wedges through to maybe six iron and then five iron, four iron, that kind of loft in the bag will be replaced by either sort of combo irons that we've seen uh, become a lot more prevalent in recent years or more in terms of the hybrid type. I definitely think there'll be a movement uh, to see those kind of clubs become more of the norm, whereas at the moment, that kind of makeup set is very much the minority. But yeah, maybe we have to go back from three years from now, two years from now, and come back to this video and see if this statement was correct or prediction was correct. In fact, what do you think on that prediction? Right, let's see if we can end this video with a uh, birdie on a par five with a nine wood, a five hybrid. And, uh, well, it was a 60 degree wedge. And, uh, come on. You got it? Yes, nearly knocked myself out with the putter, but that'll do. So that's it, video ended. Um, do you know what? I thought of the idea in the last few weeks, it kept creeping into my mind. I'm thinking, well, where do my where am, I, where am I irons finishing right now because of the options that are presented with me uh, became so visible that I was just thinking, this is going to change. So this idea for a video was that, look, let's take these clubs out, make this video and talk about the end of long irons being a possibility. So I've hit every shot as we've gone along in this round with, you know, either a, a driving iron, a driving hybrid as it's called, uh, a hybrid, a high wood and a fairway wood. And... I've been even more persuaded throughout this video that that is in fact the case, that these things are so damn good now that uh, I firmly believe in the whole idea behind this video more than when perhaps I even started it. Right, give me your feedback down below. Let me know how your bags have changed uh, in recent years or maybe not at all. And uh, are you still gonna stick in with those long irons? And if you do, then yeah, good. If they're working for you, there's not a problem with that. And how many of you are considering changing things up a little in the uh, in the months weeks years ahead right as ever thank you for watching um that's it me jump off it's absolutely boiling i will uh, see you all soon hit the like button subscribe if you don't already and uh see you very soon